contents of our Lord in the middle of this house be exposed to the blessed sacrament. Jesus is our seed fragrance. We are also his aroma. The Lord gives the promised word in this hour. Sephania chapter 3 verse 15 The king of Israel, Jesus, is with us. He is a king of kings, prince of peace, lord of lords. His name is word of God. Revelation chapter 19 verse 16 He is the king of kings and lord of lords. And Revelation chapter 19 verse 13 He has one more name and his name is word of God. So we are with Jesus. And this Jesus, Sephania chapter 315 The king is with us. No more harm will happen to you because the Lord has cancelled the judgment against you and also scattered the enemies never again you fear any harm lift up your hand this is the promise word today Sephania chapter 3 verse 15 all of you repeat together the Lord has taken away the Lord has taken the away judgments the judgments against you, against you and against me and against me. He has turned away. He has turned away your enemies. Your enemies. The King of Israel. The King of Israel. The Lord. The Lord is in your midst. Is in your midst. You shall fear disaster. You shall fear disaster. No more. No more. Keep our hands down. This is a wonderful promise that God has given us. He is with us. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Alas, I am with you till the end of the world. So God is with us. And Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. He will be called Emmanuel. God is with us. So our King is with us. Sephania chapter 3, 15. Our King, Jesus is with us. And no more we have fear of disaster or harm. Some people have fear of black magic, spell and curse. Some people have fear of enemies. Some people have fear of disaster. Some people have fear of disease and sickness. So when we are with Jesus, we will be turned as sweet fragrance of our Lord. We are an acceptable offering. Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. The knowledge of Jesus that we have. The knowledge of Jesus that we have. That knowledge itself is a sweet fragrance. And verse 15 says, Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15. We are turned as aroma of the Lord. 1981. I completed my novitiate, intensive year of prayer. After that, I went home. And uh, my shirt was smelling something like an aroma. My mother took it and then uh, smelled it and smelled it. She was thinking that I received a powerful anointing when I was in one year of prayer. And this fragrance spread in the house. And she was surprised. What happened? This smelling very good. Then I recollected. Before I reached home, I visited a sandalwood factory. Three hours, myself and our team just visited how the oil is being extracted, how the agarbati is being made, and how it is exported. And what is the process of sandalwood oil? So we spent the three hours there. Finally, we all got that smell of sandalwood. That was not the anointing. But my mother confused. I received a powerful anointing. But all of you are in contact with Jesus. He himself is our sweet fragrance. Those who are in contact with Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15. 
they are the aroma of Christ Jesus sweet smelling bouquet in the presence of the Lord that's why our Lord is with us and we are in contact with him and through this proximity and intimacy with the Lord our life is being changed and when the enemy is just smelling the shepherd smell the lions and tigers are running away because the sheep is not alone the shepherd is nearby when uh, we are standing in one place devil or demons that they come against us suddenly they will sense the smell of our shepherd that is Jesus Christ they will run away so when we are in close contact with the Jesus and in his presence now all of you are going to be turned as a sweet fragrance of Jesus and aroma of our Lord Jesus Christ fear not the enemies will be scattered our enemies are devil and demons or demon worshippers and sorcerers or people whose faculties are possessed by devil and demons they are the enemies of the humanity they all will be scattered you should not be worried about them no disaster will approach you and until the pestilence or problems are over he will cover you under his pinions Psalm 91 verse 3 No pestilence shall approach your tent Until the pestilence is over You are covered under the mighty wings of the Lord All of you lift up your hands and say Psalm 91 verse 3 Psalm 91 verse 3 He will deliver you He will deliver you From the snare of the fowler From the snare of the fowler And from the deadly pestilence And from the deadly pestilence And verse 4 says Verse 4 says, until the pestilence is over, until the pestilence is he over, he will cover you. He will cover you with his pinions, with his pinions, and under his wings, and under his wings, you will find refuge. You will find refuge, and his faithfulness, and his faithfulness, his shield and buckler, his shield and buckler. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So there will be protection in you around you. We all are protected under the mighty wings of the Lord. Extend your hands towards Jesus. Touch him. You will share the aroma of our Lord. And wherever you are, this aroma is being spread. And enemies are being scattered because they know that you are not alone. You are a master. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace is with you. So no disaster will approach you. Now, more than of 17 people who have serious heart ailments, including Robert, you are healed. 17 people receive new heart according to Ezekiel 36, 26. I will sprinkle clean water, that is the word of God, upon you, and I will give you new heart. And Robert received a new heart and his heart ailments is healed. And 17 more people being healed of same ailments. Offer all your intentions now. Touch the Lord and offer your intentions. These prayers and intentions are going to be fulfilled. Let us begin the Divine Mercy Chaplet for the fulfillment of all our intentions. And you are going to become Arama of Christ. You are an acceptable offering in the presence of the Lord. And your prayers are going up to heaven through the mercy and compassion of our Lord. And you will get to the answer of your prayers. And Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 9. The Lord says, You will walk near by the brook. God will help you to walk by the side of the river, the brook. So you will not be thirsty. And the Lord will make your path straight. So you will not be troubled to find out the way out, how to escape. And you are coming with crying and weeping. I will send you back today with consolation and peace. Rejoice in his presence now and begin the chaplet. The Lord will send you back after this adoration with the consolation and joy. Now you have struggled, difficulties, tension, worries, sickness. 
the lord will help you to walk very straight and also you will be satisfied by the water from the brook as prophet elijah was guided to a place where there was a brook there was a small river and he drank water from it the lord leads you towards living waters that is the word of god and also the lord provides us the nourishment that we need that is the eucharist and also we eat the word of god and we drink the word of god as water and food so we are strengthened by this spiritual ministry if you are sick today the lord says you will be sent back with full of health if you are tensed now the lord is going to release you from your tension and worries hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord praise you lord praise you lord i say a chapter 33 words 5 the lord is exalted and he dwells on high he will fill sion with the justice and righteousness those who are in need of justice and righteousness lift up your hand somebody filed a lawsuit against you illegally you are fighting many illegal court cases never you have received justice the lord will give you justice and you will be made free from all the guilt that is righteousness the lord is exalted he dwells on high and he filled the sion with the justice and righteousness you are the sion and you are the logosians the lord will give justice and peace and righteousness to all logosians let us pray you aspired to jesus but the, the source of life gushed for, for the souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world o fount of life and father of divine mercy envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fountain of mercy for us i trust in you o father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen i believe in god the, the father, father almighty creator, creator of heaven and earth, and earth. I, i believe in jesus christ his only, only son our, our lord he was, he was conceived, conceived by the power of the holy spirit, spirit. and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father almighty from there he will come again to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen lifting up our hands the first decade that we dedicate for welfare and wellness of families and also we pray for the poor people they may have enough resources to fulfill all their responsibilities and also we pray for business personnel and people who are going through crisis in their finances let them come out of it we pray for nations now they are not enjoying any prosperity we pray for nations and we pray for churches where there are scarcity now we pray as ducat 164 says as part of the magisterium of the church believers will not become poor if they do not take vow of poverty they will not become poor instead they will enjoy moderate prosperity moderate prosperity is being explained 
in second corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 matthew chapter 14 19 the spirit of increase and multiplication will work in you eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world keep on lifting up our hands and praise and thank god spirit of cancer spirit of paralysis spirit of depression get out of you now in the name of jesus i pray that the lord may touch you and heal you jesus may curse your disease now as he cursed the fig tree and destroyed it the lord almighty may touch you now and heal you in the name of jesus i pray let your skin diseases be healed vitiligo be healed your sorrows be turned into joy all your gynec issues be healed excessive hair fall be healed epilepsy be healed scoliosis be healed sciatic pain be disappeared paralytic attack be healed all types of paralysis be healed blindness be healed the lord may touch you by his wounds by his wounds you are healed by his stripes you are made well be healed in the name of jesus make the sign of the cross on your body relax and rejoice your prayers are answered Amen. eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how must he on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world keep on lifting up your hands yes stand your hands towards jesus and if you have a special prayer intentions these intentions are going to be fulfilled through the anointing of the holy spirit just pray three times jesus son of david have mercy on my special intentions jesus son of david have mercy on my special prayer intentions jesus son of david have mercy on my special prayer intentions jesus son of david have mercy on my special prayer intentions today you are special intentions are fulfilled amen you are blessed your prayers are answered amen thank you jesus thank you jesus keep on lifting up your hands and sing together for fresh anointing of the holy spirit move over us now the holy spirit descending upon you like in the form of split tongue of fire you are being filled with the power just imagine that a ball of fire coming upon you and resting on your head and that fire comes down and you are turned like a burning bush look at jesus jesus crucified those who are sick just have a meditation and until you are healed continue this meditation 
one drop of blood comes from his heart mingled with one drop of water falls on the crown of your head from there it reaches to your heart from the heart it moves all over the body wherever this blood moves that part of the body being healed continue this meditation of the blood of christ and passion of christ for 5 minutes if you are suffering from incurable diseases soon you will experience the healing touch of jesus by his blood and meditation of the blood of christ dust allergy many are being set free now milk allergy lactogen allergy 22 persons are healed thank you lord promote your name is called out and you are suffering from acute form of allergy several things turned allergic to you you are healed from your allergies thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah even you are suffering from asthma the spirit of the lord descending upon you and you are set free from your asthmatic attack thank you jesus praise you seven children who have epilepsy and autism they are being healed now thank you lord praise, praise you jesus jeremiah chapter 18 verse 6 you are like a clay in the hands of god the lord is reshaping you and you are a good vessel of god almighty Amen. you are turned like a new creation Amen. second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 all those who are with christ now are a new creation Amen. your old sickness is gone Amen. newness has come Amen. isaiah 43 verse 18 I am going to do something new in your life. Amen. What is that? Verse 19 Rewards in the wilderness. Your impossible things are become possible through the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Flowers in the desert. There there is no way the Lord is creating a way for you. Amen. Way in the wilderness. Rewards in the desert. new things you are going to see here after that is already being happened thank you jesus 14 people are healed of thyroid complaint thank you a person named thelma you are being healed of your thyroid complaint thank you jesus thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. rose you are being healed of your complaint in uh, your hands and legs and varicose vein complaint you are being healed thank you jesus Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Fatty liver more than of 400 people are being healed. Thank you Lord. Yes sir, you are being healed of your second grade of fatty liver. Thank you. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. A person's name Milly, you are being healed of your liver complaint. Thank you Lord. Sylvester, the Lord has healed your cancer in the pancreas. Amen. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. praise you jesus praise you lord everest you are being healed right now and your prayers are being answered thank you jesus today more than of 81 persons getting grace to form their own family thank and they will get a good proposal and you will form your own family thank you jesus thank you jesus two persons who are bedridden because of unknown disease they are getting power to get up and when you are healed please come to logos and give your testimony Astrid the Lord heals you you are bedridden Astrid the Lord heals you now thank you. praise the Lord praise thank you Jesus thank you. mouth ulcers ulcer in the mouth one person is healed Amen. internal bleeding two persons are healed now thank you Jesus there are eight persons who are sitting here having frozen shoulder they cannot lift up their hand now they can lift up their hands Amen. Amen. thank you Jesus how many of you have this shoulder complaint just check yourself maybe because of an accident or some other reasons now you are healed amen and 14 people are healed of their complaint in their ears and their eyes thank you jesus. i want to see eight people who have a shoulder pain that now they are healed check yourself and if you are healed lift up your right hand 
those who are healed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 persons clap our hands and praise and thank god thank you lord jesus multiplied the healing eight healings into 24 three more times jesus multiplied it because the spirit of increase and multiplication also working in you suicidal tendency one person sitting here is set free thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord and muscle tear two persons are healed and they are going to use their muscles properly that muscle tear is being healed thank you jesus now we all kneel down and pray holy god holy, holy mighty god, one holy, holy mortal one, one have mercy on us and on the whole world Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world.